I don't know what you're playing at going behind my back like this. I haven't gone behind your back. All I've done is set up a meeting. Oh, yes, with cost worlds where everybody's pound goes further. Well, you can think again, we are not doing business with the supermarket. Uh, yeah, but, Granddad, don't you think... Everything's fine the way they are. Really? Looking forward to a fresh approach. That's what you said when I started. Oh, yes, yeah, so that's as maybe, but no and one said And I didn't spend any... three years at college just to hang out on the high street handing out free samples. <clears throat> Rosie, love, one day you'll get to run the world, but you need a little bit more experience before then. You know, what you need to do is find out how things are done. But I know how it's done. I spent all my life watching you run this place. And I've got loads of ideas. First, I'll expand, and hang then... Hang on a minute. Look... Who said anything about expansion? Adapt, then. Have a rethink, whatever. Would a change be such a bad thing? Well, if your big idea was to sell out to a supermarket chain, then you've still got a lot to do. All I've done is make some initial inquiries, and it turns out they might be interested. There's no harm in considering our options. Think of it as research. No, we have nothing to learn from the Cotswolds of this world. We are a family firm. We've got principles. Yeah, well, I don't think we can afford them anymore. I've seen the books. Yes, so have I. But we can manage. We always have done. Yeah, and managing gets harder every yeah, day. Well, tell me about it. But there's and it breaks my heart to see you still working so hard. Mm. Grandad, you've helped me so much with college and everything. Now it's my turn to uh, try No, no, no. You don't owe me anything. Please, Grandad. Let me help. I know I can make things better here for both of us. Uh, Rosie, love, uh, don't think I'm not grateful, but I am not ready to throw the towel in just yet. When I am, you can take over. That's always been the plan. Just as long as there's something left for me to take over. Hi. Hi, it's Donna Palmer. Yeah, yeah, no, I know. I was just checking you could still make it. Good. Um, well, d yeah, don't worry. I'll explain everything later. So the, the cafe in Leatherbridge Park it is then, yeah? And you know where that... Yeah, yeah, of course you do. OK, I'll uh, see you in there then. Bye. Customers not beating the door down. It's still early. We spend our lives waiting for passing trade to pop in when it suits them. Do you know what a regular supply contract would mean? Yes, giving up control. Not necessarily. We just supply them with a fixed number of loaves every day, which they pay for up front. Yeah, then what about our independence? The Balkan name would stay on the wrapping. And the recipe remains our secret. It'd just be a way around our cash flow problem. Oh. So no need to freak. Besides, they haven't even made us an offer yet. Mm -hmm. And what if they don't? Well, there's always plan B. Which is what? I'll tell you that when I think of it. Let's just try this first, eh? Yeah. Well, I don't suppose there'd be any harm just seeing them, but um, I'm not promising anything, mind. Cool. Well, come on, Mr Grouch. Better shift ourselves. I've got a presentation to write. Yes, well, I'd better get out of the way. It doesn't look as if little Miss Efficiency needs me anymore. No, 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 no. No, you're my trump card. Oh. If we're going to be known as a heritage brand, then the more traditional values we can push, the better. You're, uh, historically significant. Old, you mean? Unique. <laughs> oh, companies like Coswell are falling over themselves to stock niche brands. Locally sourced product, readily available in a convenient supermarket. That's what the modern consumer demands. It's funny, in my day, people just wanted value for money. <laughs> oh, dear. How times have changed. <laughs> Everything all right? Uh, yeah, it's just a few cancellations in a row, that's all. Ah, well, if you're at a loose end... Well, actually, um, I was just about to... No, maybe you could do the rest of us a, a favour. It's time we submitted some more information to the National Database. Uh, any chance you could come up with some sort of report about where we're at with patient summaries? Clinical indicators, practice treatment trends, that kind of thing? Well, statistical analysis isn't exactly my forte. No, it needs to be done all the same. And it's not usually my job. Well, give it a try, eh? I mean, brownie points, if you get it right. Shall we say something by the end of the day? 
Ну, как гомосчуясь, ты за... All this gadding about town. <laughs> no wonder you run down. I'm only doing my job, Grandad. Just put your worn out, girl. Probably just my hormones. Oh, yes, right. Yeah, well, um, <laughs> you better get them sorted, duh. Right. I won't be long. I'll swing by and pick you up later. Yeah, where are you going now? Look, I'm not going to mess about. Your test results are back. And? And it's not good. It's as we suspected. You're sure? Right, sir. I knew there was a strong possibility, but I still hoped. <sighs> what a nightmare. Now everything's confirmed, we can think about treatment. Come on, let's look on the bright side. We can cut out the cramps, get rid of the nausea and the bloating. Your mojo will be back in no time. I know it's ironic, given your situation, but... Ironic? Tragic, more like. So there must be some drug I can take, or an operation? There's only one answer. I could learn to live with it. Now ignoring it would be dangerous. But you gotta... All right, all right, I know what I've got to do. Sorry, that sounded rude. It's just... This is all I need right now. Work? <laughs> Stress central. Tough times for the fiercely independent. We're in enough trouble and this ain't gonna help. I don't see how... My boss? And grandfather? Come on. You're a bright, intelligent young woman. He's got a lot to be proud of. Not today, he hasn't. He doesn't even know I've had the tests. He thinks I'm out drumming up business. Well, you can't keep this for him too long. I know, I owe it to him. But I've already sprung one surprise on him today. Not sure he's ready for another one. you have to do with this on your own. If you need anything, just call me. Yeah? That'd be great. Let me just get through today first. Oh, before I forget. What's that? We've got an offer on Balkan Bloomers. Buy one, get one free. It's a stodgy old white loaf, but it's a Lethbridge institution, so it really is high time you tried one. Put round some time. I'll make sure you get a really fresh one. Thank you. I don't suppose there's any chance for a quiet word, is there? Not now. Lunchtime? OK. OK. Mrs Roberts. Appointments with a Charlie Hughes. Mm -hmm. Where is it, then? Running late, apparently. Probably got back-to-back -back meetings. Could be good for us, though. We'd strike a deal in less time. Done this sort of thing before, have you? Yeah. We used to do mock negotiations all the time at college. At college? Hmm? Hold me a sec. Ladies. You must think I'm stalking you. Uh, j just to say, I'm running a bit late. Yeah, well, I, I didn't want you thinking I'd had a change of heart or anything. Okay, yeah, I'll see you then. You're really going to use that thing, then, are you? Got to be professional, Grandad. Charlie Hughes will be expecting it. Yes, well, plain talk always worked in my day. You used to lay your cards down on the table. If they didn't like it, they could lump it. Things have changed a bit since yes, then. Yes, you're not joking. I'll tell you what, if you can't get that thing running, I'll take this Charlie for a pint afterwards. I'm sure I can talk him round. <laughs>
I've actually passed her today. I hope it's on the special. A fusilli or lasagna, which is Madame's preference. <laughs> oh, that would be telling. Balkans by two o'clock. Charlie Hughes, regional buying director, oh, baked goods for the West Midlands. How do you do? <laughs> well, uh, pleased to meet you. Please sit down. Oh, okay. If we can make a start, I do have a two thirty. Um, right. Well, Balkans is Lethbridge's last remaining independent baker, established nineteen twenty eight. <laughs> We produce Yes, yes, I know all this from your email. It's clear how we could be an attractive route to market for you. But what's in this for Coswell? Well, um... Excuse me, I've got to... Rosie? Rosie! <laughs> Take a seat. As I've not got all day, can you cut all this cloak and dagger stuff and tell me what you want? Well... Since our chat the other day, I haven't stopped thinking about what you said. And? Well, it's got me wondering, you know, what, what you want. A fresh start, a new beginning. It's not too much to ask for, is it? No, not at all, but it's not that easy. I know, but now I've got my life back on track. I've got a steady income, a new house. A stable environment. I know that I can give him what's best. It's not just about what I want, it's about what Darren needs. A change for the better. But with her being the way she is. Maybe I can help. Of course, in those days, everything was done down the market. You bought your veg, your meat, uh, everything from the person who grew it, uh, baked it, or farmed it. There were no additives or stabilizers like you get these days. <laughs> oh, no offense, mind. <laughs> no. Uh, you, of course, what you lot do is smash you, of course, but um, we're coming from a different place. Ah. Glad you can join us. Everything all right? Yes, yes. Must be something I... I'll be fine. <laughs> now, where was I? Your grandfather's been telling me all about the early days of Leatherbridge. It's fascinating. Hmm. I've got some graphs and pie charts you may wish to have a look Maybe at. Maybe we should just you. take a look at the product, see what the fuss is about. Right. <laughs> uh, Maybe just a small piece for me. Well... Let's stand on ceremony. Let's tuck in. I expect you get sick of the sight of it. Oh, no, not at all. Not our Rosie, no. no. <laughs> she was weaned on the stuff, ain't you, love? Mm. Oh. Nothing wrong, is there, Miss Balcom? These are copies of Sharon's medical records. Hey. They contain confidential information. The sort of information that you could put to good use. OK. But there's a problem. What? I shouldn't have printed those out. I shouldn't have taken them from the surgery and I certainly shouldn't be showing them to you. Well, why did you then? Because there's a little boy in a very dangerous situation and Without help, who knows what sort of long-term damage that could do. I'm not just a Darren, to so many other people. This is our chance to do something about it. I, I honestly don't know where I'm going wrong. I try to help him, he doesn't want to know. He's had a lot on his plate recently. Yeah, but it's not as if we haven't given him our reasons. I thought that if I gave him a little bit more responsibility, he'd realise that I valued him and wanted him to be more involved. But instead, he just thinks I'm taking advantage of him. I'm grateful, Lord. Give him time, he'll get over it. You think? Right now, he's harder to handle than ever Emily was. I don't think it's worth... You know, I think we should just leave it for a bit. I mean, none of us are his favourite people right now, are we? Not after the partnership business. Yes, but ignoring him is not going to make things better. We need all to work together, now more than ever. I don't suppose you can have a... Don't look at me. I'm the guy who ruined his master plan. Well, it looks like I'll have to have another word myself, then. But isn't this breaking the rules? 
Like you said, all that matters is what's best for Darren. Yeah, but it's a pretty big risk for a kid you don't even know. What do you want in return, money? No. Well, what then? Two things. Do the right thing. And this is your chance to give Darren a better life. Don't mess it up. Oh, I won't, trust me. And he said there were two things. Don't let on where you got this information from. If this got out, I don't have to spell out what would happen to me. Have I made it clear? Crystal. I've got things to do. I'll see you. Okay, see you later. You up with Jimbo? Well, you know you can do it. By the way, have you ever heard of a Balcon Bloomer? Crikey, I haven't seen one of those for ages. Do they still make them? Apparently. See you. I'm so sorry, Grandad. Uh, what is it? What's wrong? Well, that was Charlie Hughes. Oh, yeah. Coswells won't be stocking Balkan products. Oh, I see. Apparently, she liked our image and everything we stand for. <laughs> well, that's something, I suppose. But the product isn't quite what she's looking for. She wouldn't recognise her qualities at loaf if she fell over it. No, no, no. She's nothing but a Rottweiler in high heels, that one. Decision-maker, all the same. Oh, yes, well, that's right, um, yeah. And you didn't make her deciding for her very hard, did you? What's that supposed to mean? Well, all that screwing your nose up at the samples. I didn't. Oh, yes, you did. I mean, what a performance that was. It wasn't like that. Well, it was from where I was sitting. A little enthusiasm is all that it needs, you know. And if that's what you're like at your sales drive, young lady, it's no wonder the business isn't picking up. It's not quite that simple. What is it, then? The family bread not good enough for you, then? No! Unlike, of course, the fancy kind that they used to give you at college, I suppose. <laughs> if you must know, it's not that I won't eat it. I can't. You can't, huh? Oh, don't make me laugh. It's not a joke. I've been meaning to tell you. Tell me what, trading standards haven't been around, have they? Has somebody made a complaint? No, no, it's nothing like that. It's not oh. the bread, it's me. I've been having tests at the doctor's. What kind of tests? Not very nice ones. Oh, no. Oh, I'm sorry, Rosie. But at least I know what these stomach problems are all about. It's been confirmed today. I've got celiac disease. What disease? Anyone home? Coming! It's like an allergy, only worse. My body produces these antibody fingers that attack its own tissues. Makes me bloated, feel sick, tired. Why didn't you say something? You're going to be all right, aren't you? Yes, yes, of course. Now we know what's causing it. And what exactly is the problem? Um, well, it's all triggered by gluten. Gluten? As found in flour. The stuff that goes into our loaves. Hey, hang on a minute. You... You're not saying that this trouble you're having with the stomach is my fault, are you? No, no, of course not. What's important is that I can't eat bread ever again. Hello? Anyone home? Oh, yes, uh, all right, I'll be right with you. Well, it's strange, isn't it, the uh, bread being bad for you? Stuff of life, they always used to call it, and we, those Balkans, we've always thrived on it. Oh, not this one. Look, I know it's not ideal, but it doesn't mean I can't still sell it. How are you expected to do that? Well, nobody needs to know. What, you mean that you have something uh, that's making you ill? Well, that'd be a downright lie. And if, if the word got out, I mean, we'd be a laughing stock. Oh, no, no, Rosie, no, no, that's not going to work. Well, then, if that's how you feel, I'm not much used to you, am I? Might as well just go and get a job in market oh, research. Oh, no, all right. Oh, don't be hasty, I mean... No, no, it's fine. I'm not staying somewhere. I'm not Walter. Rosie! Hi. Anybody home? Oh, yes, I was going to be there. Yes, sir, okay, come in. I'm Rosie's doctor. I just popped in for my free life. Oh, <laughs> right, Jeff. You do realise you probably just saved a boy's life. Look, just do what you've got to do and please keep your promise. Don't worry, I will. And thank you. Mm. Stop worrying. I'm not going to blow it. All this time she's been feeling rotten and I would have just let a soldier on alone trying to keep the business from going down the pan. And all this time I've been making it worse. Well, maybe now's a chance to find a way around Rosie's problem together. I mean, with her enthusiasm and your experience. I mean, it looks to me like a winning combination. 
Mm. Well, unless you'd rather she... Oh, no, no, no. She is the perfect person to take over. I know, even as a little girl, she used to get up early <laughs> just to go down and watch the dough rise. <laughs> and now she'll probably go off and work somewhere like Costwell. She seems to like it there. And wouldn't that be a waste? Ah, oh, indeed. No, no, no. Her future is here, always has been. Oh, look, look, before you say anything, I'm sorry for flying off the handle. I mean, uh, Dr. West has explained everything, and uh, I know that none of this is your fault. I should have told you. I just didn't want to make things any harder than they are. Well, don't worry about it. I've been in this game for nearly 50 years. I've seen off the supermarket boom and the near death of the high street. <laughs> so I don't think a little thing like gluten intolerance is going to bring the Balkans down. So huh? what are we going to do, then? Well, I think you need to find a plan B. Ah, oh, well... Well, perhaps Rosie should get her health on track first. But I've got some leaflets. <laughs> Feel free to call me. Oh, if you have well. any other questions. Thank you very much, about. I'm not sure it's going to help, you see. We make a living from making bread, and uh, to make bread you need flour, and um, Rosie can't eat gluten, so we're stuck. Well, you don't need gluten to make bread. Oh, you do for Balkans bread. What about rice flour? Oh. Well, what's it good for? Biscuits, cakes. I wouldn't be surprised you can turn out a decent love with it, too. Granddaddy, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Oh, <laughs> don't tell me. She's found plan B. We could do a gluten-free range under the Balkan name, especially for celiacs. Oh, yeah, well, that sounds good, yeah. yeah. But wouldn't it be a bit too niche? I reckon if you could come up with something local, gluten-free and freshly baked, well, Grandad, it could be you who saves us after all. Uh -oh. So no pressure, then? Well, it is tempting. I mean, it, it does sound different, and we would be breaking new ground. And would that be so bad? Come on, it's worth a shot. The marketing potential's huge. Fresh products targeted to the modern consumer. That's what Balkans is all about. Oh, you don't say. <laughs> no, no, all right, I'll tell you what I'll do. Uh, I will bake it for you, but only on one condition, that you develop it. You do everything it needs to make it work. I will leave all the decisions to you. It will be your own special project. Now, how does that sound? That sounds like the best idea you've had in years. <laughs> Oh, who needs the Coswells of this world? They can keep their mass market. We're niche and staying that way. <laughs> Sorry, I've got a bit held up. Is it too much to ask for my patients list before they start beating the door down? It'll be ready in a minute. Yeah, well, you really should keep on top of these things. I think we're from the spa. Sorry, Julie, I've got a bit held up and now I'm running a bit behind. Oh, that's OK. I'll give you a hand in a minute. Isn't it just come back from lunch? OK, no harm done. There you go. Busy afternoon for you. Oh, and a quick message from Nick. You couldn't fit his first patient in, could you? He's running behind too. He's on his way back with treats, apparently. Oh, well, that's sweet of him. You know, some of us have worked on lunch break. Oh, yes. Any joy with those figures? Ah, uh, done, actually, on Julia's desk. Sorry, what figures? Findings for the National Database. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'll have a look at those later. Thanks, Julie. Much appreciated. Uh, Jimmy? Can I have a quick word, please? In private. Oh, actually, I'm a bit busy. Oh, what am I supposed to have done this time? Done? Nothing. Just want a quiet chat. See how things are going. You seem a bit... No, I'm fine. If there's anything that's bothering you, I'd like you to think that you could always come to me. Look, I know today hasn't been the most exciting, but you've got to understand that that's all part and parcel of being a GP. I mean, it's not all saving lives and rescuing lost souls, you know that. There are times when, in order to keep our funding, the paperwork has to be done and we need to keep various records, and that means quite a bit of boring admin for everyone. We're all in this together. Yeah, only some of us are more in this together than others. What's that? Well, I didn't notice Nick spending his lunch break number crunching. Who were you? It was a cosy partner's lunch, was it? Oh, come on, don't tell me all this is because we went to lunch without you. If you must know, the reason I invited them was because of the way you reacted to this partnership business. We're all genuinely worried about you. So you're talking about me behind my back, were you? Well, there's no need. I'm a big boy now. Really? Look, if you've got a problem, then we should sit down and talk this through. There is no need for this... this teenage petulance. If we are all going to get on, then things have got to change, starting with you. 
Me? Yes, you. It's high time you bucked your ideas up, young man. Young man! Is that all I am to you? I'm getting really fed up of being patronised like some junior, only good for record keeping or helping out when there's a rush on. Well, that's not... Maybe I should seriously think about what I'm doing. Well, good. I'm glad you see it in that way. Yeah, in fact, you know, you're absolutely right. It is time I made some changes. Nobody seems to take me seriously, and I'm obviously not wanted round here, so maybe I should just do the decent thing. I resign. What? You heard! Well, even doctors get the bank holiday off, so we're back at the mill on Tuesday. Tonight, May gets an unwelcome birthday surprise in the Vic in EastEnders. And next this afternoon on BBC One, it's Diagnosis Murder. <laughs>